Hey everybody, it's Gary, GPS Reeves, or the guy in the pink shirt. I'm best known as being the 2019 National Instructor of the Year, and I've got over 7,800 hours as an ATP and a Master Instructor. But really, what I do full-time for a living is I train clients all over the world, from Alaska to Australia, in being great or mastering single pilot IFR using Avidyne Garmin, Autopilots, and ForeFlight. So let's talk about adding an unpublished hold to a Garmin G1000, 2000, 3000, or perspective. They're designed for use when ATC assigns you a hold due to weather or traffic delays, but most people aren't real great at it because they don't happen very often. They're pretty uncommon, but they do happen occasionally. So yesterday I was training a client in a 182 with the G1000, and we had been cleared direct WIMES for the VOR Bravo with a DME arc at Sulphur Springs. Right after we had been cleared to WIMES with the arc, a citation came on frequency and asked Fort Worth Center for vectors to final to the VOR Bravo. Now I'm in a 182. I'm training. The citation is quite a bit faster and burning a lot more gas. So ATC says, well, you're going to be number three for the airport, and give me a few minutes. I'll try and figure out how to sequence you in. And that's when I just keyed the mic and said, you know, Fort Worth, Cessna 24201, we're a training flight. Uh, if it would help, we can hold that WIMES to allow the citation to go in first. Nothing wrong with being nice and being helpful. And ATC was very grateful, and they said, okay, We'll hold on the 131 radial at Wimes intersection, 10 nautical mile legs, and expect for the clearance at 1715 Zulu. Now remember, if they don't tell you the direction of the turn, the right answer is always right turns. So the steps to adding a hold on a G1000 are pretty simple. My flight plan window is already open, so I'm going to highlight Wimes by pushing the little button. Then I'm going to press Menu. Scroll down with the big knob to hold that waypoint. Then I'm going to push enter. I can adjust the course with the little knob and I can move the big knob to change fields. So if I'm on the 131 radial, 311 is my reciprocal. That is correct. Now to finish setting it up, all I'm going to do is change the time with the little knob to distance, move the big knob to move the cursor, little knob to change things. Remember, big knob moves things, little knob changes things. So I'm going to use the little knob to change it to 10, then I'm going to push enter. Right is already correct, push enter again, and then I'm going to use my little knob to change it to 1715. Then I'm going to push enter, and then if I push enter again while load is highlighted, it draws in the hold. Now what's really interesting is if you look at the hold, it's not perfectly parallel legs. Because the G1000 is so smart, it's actually taking into effect our crab. And you can say see that our white airplane on the way to Wimes is actually crabbed for fairly significant, I think it was about uh, a 22 or 23 knot crosswind. Now, when you're ready to leave the hold, ATC will say one of two things, either direct WIMES resume the arc or after WIMES track the arc southbound. So they did say after WIMES track the arc southbound. So all I wanna do to leave the hold after I get to WIMES is just push the suspend soft key to unsuspend and then it will resume the flight plan after I go southbound, turn back northbound, get to Wimes, and then go. Make sure you understand the difference between direct Wimes resume the arc or after Wimes resume the arc. Now, if you want to use ForeFlight for reference, and I recommend it, here's a little clip out of our ForeFlight training program to show you how to do that. Basically, to create the custom hold at Wimes, I need to create a user waypoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch more, custom content, user waypoints, then I touch the plus symbol. I'm going to name it WIME H, as in WIME hold. 
then the location is going to be based on the WIMES waypoint. Then I'm going to pull down the Bravo key to get the forward slash. And then I'm going to pull down Quebec Echo Quebec to get the 131 radial. Pull down the Bravo key to get the forward slash. Then I'm going to pull down Quebec and Papa to get 10 miles. Then I'm just going to push Done and Save. Then I'm going to grab my pink track and drag it to the Wyme hold. Then I'm going to grab the pink track again and drag it back to Wyme's. And what I've done is I've drawn my inbound leg. And then after flying the hold, because I've told the G1000 to unsuspend and continue the arc, the airplane will. And you can see it turns just slightly before Wyme's. And that's what GPS roll steering really is. So when people say GPSS, they really mean GPS roll steering. It leads the turn and then resumes the instrument procedure. Hope it's been helpful. If you'd like to be great at Foreflight, Garmin, Avidyne, Single Pilot, GTN, or as in this course, the G1000, 2000, 3000, or Perspective, we have some really great video mastery training. I will tell you that some of the videos are a little shaky because I don't use a lot of simulators. This is real life, real airplane in-flight footage. After the video training, if you want to be a true master, I'll come to you anywhere in the world, or you can come to me in uh, North Texas for a private three-day course. It's over 20 hours of training. It's exhausting, but it will make you really great at the buttonology and make you so much safer in single pilot IFR. And just to make sure you're totally ready for any emergency, on the last approach on the third day, I will simply black out your G1000 and make you land using four flight only. This is Gary, GPS, or the guy in the pink shirt reads. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time from pilotsafety.org.